exhausted, sleepless, and sick. But Karima Makaura was thankful after she and her seven children survived the Marawi siege. Karima knows some relatives and friends who weren't so lucky. Karima and her children are among the evacuees in need of immediate medical attention. Addressing this problem, the Philippine Red Cross in partnership with the International Committee of the Red Cross has set up a basic healthcare unit at an evacuation center in Baloi, Lanao del Norte. The basic healthcare unit, which has seven tents, have been used as mini hospitals, where evacuees can avail themselves of consultations, treatment, and minor surgical cases. It has also a mini pharmacy with basic medicines for children, pregnant women, and elderly persons. Some of the common diseases of the evacuees include respiratory problems such as cough and colds, flu, and loose bowel movement. It also has a treatment area for respiratory ailment, immunization, and treatment for all types of wounds. There are 21 cot beds in case of emergency instances. An ambulance is on standby in case a patient needs to be transferred to other hospital. On the daily basis, there are 5 volunteer doctors, 12 nurses, 5 ambulance crew and 11 midwives in case of giving birth or those in need of prenatal checkup. So far, PRC has already assisted 372 patients. Sabi ko maganda yan, at least yung uh, district hospital namin na uh, medyo kulang ng gamot, kulang ng doktor, uh, rural health namin isa lang ang doktor. So, at least uh, uh, kung makistablish tayo ng 24 hours na emergency, parang emergency hospital na pag-scatter dito sa mga uh, evacuist natin, eh, mas maganda. Okay, because uh, sa tingin ko, hindi lang yung mga evacuist ang pwede nila i-serve, pati yung students natin dito sa Baloy, pwede nila rin i-serve. 